Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Many beginners misuse clippers and limiters. While the terms are used interchangeably, there is a big difference between them. So today I am going to explain you the difference between clippers and limiters and where you can use it. So guys, are you ready? See you after the music. Hey guys, this is Julian, sound engineer at NG Studios. Digital mixing has taken many analog techniques and has given us unlimited potential as to what we can do with them. Today's video, we will be looking at one such analog techniques which is widely used in music production. So let us get into it. What is clipper? Clipper acts like a tape saturation where it cuts your peak by adding saturation and distortion. So basically if the peak goes above the threshold you have set, it will show off the peak by adding saturation and distortion. Make sure to not to go over the threshold drastically as the distortion of the clipper may sound unnatural with added artifacts. On the other end, when using limiter, if you push the signal by threshold, it will allow the peak signal inside of it and won't let it go above the threshold. In the limiter, set less attack time and fast release and push the threshold unless you hear a bad distortion like an intersample peak. Let's dive straight into the door to understand the working of clippers and limiters. Let's insert a limiter. Let's go for Fab Filter Pro L2. So think of a limiter as a brick wall limiter. Setting the threshold will push the peak signal. I'm just playing. I'll set the threshold. As you can see, all the peaks will get crushed and the signal will be louder with a gain direction. This is how a limiter works. It allows the peak signal inside of it. It will get crushed and the signal will be louder with a gain reduction. So basic setting I would advise is go to transparent for Pro L2 and slow attack and fast release. And then you can always check. <laughs> So this is how a limiter works. So guys, let's insert a clipper plugin. Standard clip is one of the best plugin. I have a demo plugin of it. Uh, I will surely going to buy this. One of the best uh, plugin I have found. One of the best clipper plugin. In limiter on the previous video, as you have observed that it allows the peak signal and the peak signals getting crushed with a gain reduction and giving you a loudness in clipper it will not allow the peak signal inside of it instead of crushing and letting the signal inside like a limiter it will literally cut off the peaks so now let's play and check So now observe the peaks over here are the snare hits. So here are the snare hits. So now what I am going to do is I am going to set the threshold and will communicate with the threshold to be in line with the snare hits. Rahi, 
so i have set the set the threshold the all the peaks of hitting snag it will get saturated so what amount of saturation you need you can set it by over soft clip saturator so set the over sampling to into 16 so let's check <laughs> I think this is fine it's sounding fine so all the peaks of the snares are getting saturated now before we continue the video i want to know what are your favorite examples of clippers and limiters you hear in music let me know in the comment below by the way don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to know more about distortion and similar thing check out the video over here so you have also mode like soft clip classic mode soft clip pro hard clip and ratio to is to one you can use this so soft clip is about the saturation and if you want a distorted sound you can go to hard clip and then you can set it so observe the snare it the sound is different now in hard clip So it is cutting off the peak through this hard clip like it's adding a distortion whereas in soft clip it is adding a saturation uh, and a little amount of uh, saturation uh, you can set it uh, how much amount you want through this slider i hope you understood like what is happening here is that clippers will have gain direction uh, cutting off the peaks with saturation and distortion the more you push the more saturation and distortion happens and also somehow it controls the peak and make your tracks even Somehow it controls the dynamic. So now it only controls that extra peak of snare in your mix track. I hope you understood the difference between clippers and limiters. So now when to apply clippers or when to apply limiters, what it's what exactly is the procedure? So mostly what is my recommendation is after the clipper you should apply a limiter why the reason is your clipper is somehow controlling the dynamics of the song like it's controlling the peaks if you can hear the uh, peaks So somehow it controls these peaks and after that what you can do you can insert a limiter so you should insert clipper before the limiter and some engineers also do vice versa it depends upon your taste but my recommendation is insert your clipper before the limiter because the only reason is clipper somehow controls the dynamics of your mix peaks so let's insert a fab filter pro l2 somehow i'll show you so these are the peaks these are the peaks just check it control now So now I'll set it to zero. Now you can push the threshold over here. As you can see, the peaks are controlled with this clipper. Again, I'll show you. Just observe the graph in Fab Filter Pro L2.
you can go above your L LUFS like your nominal normal normal LUFS is around uh, minus 10 and your max LUFS is minus 8 so it goes till minus 8 without disturbing the sound <laughs> Isn't it sound amazing? I hope this video is useful for you guys and hopefully you are not going to mix these two terms together. The links of the plugin I use is available in the description. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell icon. Till then, watch this video. Goodbye. Cheers.